Hey guys, it's Ben from Media to Play Games, and today I'm giving you the red reveals. Um, the blue reveals also go um, leaked as well. Well, not leaked, they, they came out. Um, I'm going to make a separate video on that and just separate everything so it isn't a 40 minute video. Um, so on top of the red cards, I think a few promo cards also got released as well. But yeah, let's get right into it. So um, a we have a red Sun Gohan leader, a uh, Sun Goku leader, uh, when it attacks, uh, draw a card and then switch to energy. And then the other side is pretty much um, when this card attacks, draw one card. And then if you have four or less cards in your hand, draw one card and gains 5k. Um, this card's not that bad. If you're playing an aggressive red build, which uh, there's a lot of new good aggressive red builds, um, it's pretty good. Um, the fact that it synergizes with Miraculous Comeback Gohan is pretty good because um, you want less than four cards in your hand and when you sw like you drop it, you have three. When you swing, you'll draw two cards. So it's pretty strong. Is this stronger than Pan though? Probably not. Um, Pan can play aggressive. Pan can play defensive. Um, I probably would just play Pan over this leader in my opinion. But um, he is uh, Goku GT, so he does have some synergy with a few other things. All right. Now we're going to Baby. Um, I like was really hyped for this when I first saw it. Um, so it's Machine Mutant. There's a lot of new Machine Mutant cards. Um, but yeah, I'll give this a three star, sorry. Um, so yeah, Baby. Uh, when it attacks, a leader draw a card. And then on its awakened side, when this card attacks, draw one card. Then choose up to one of your battle cards and one of your opponent's battle cards. They both lose 10k for the duration of the turn. Um, the fact that it says choose kind of... You know, it, like I know Barry isn't seeing a lot of play these days, but it would just be good if it was just make your opponent lose a thousand. Uh, oh, ten oh, k, sorry, not a thousand. Um, so this will like KO things because if you uh, put it to zero, um, like they they'll have zero attack, which means they die. So I'll pipe down all the carbs and everything. It's kind of strong. It's an alright red leader if you ask me. Um, I'll give him uh, four stars just because he is a machine mutant, which is actually kind of strong in today's meta. Well, what's going to come of the meta? Now we have our first, I think this is just our first rare for red. Untapped power, Super Saiyan 3, Sun Goku. Um, it evolved for, it's a 5 drop, 2 red. Evolved for 3 red and 1 non-red. Um, it has Deflect, which is, means it can't be um, countered. When you play this card, draw one card, then choose up to one of your energy and switch to active mode, and this card gains 5k power. So it's a 30k on summon with um, drawing. Um, it's not that strong at all. The fact that it's a 5 drop, I know it's technically a 4 drop, isn't that great, and there's not a lot of Sun Goku GTs you kind of want to evolve over. Um, unless you are playing like the... the uh, like the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but I feel like there's just better targets for this anyways. Um, I'll give this card a 2 star. It's not that powerful. That's my opinion. Next we have Blazing Spirit Sun Goku. It's a 2 drop with Barrier 15k. Like, this is actually a little bit stronger than you think. The fact that it's a 2 drop with 1 red is pretty strong with Barrier. Um, I'll give it a 3 star, it's kind of strong, most other things with barrier will be a 3 uh, three drop rather than being a 2 drop. Next we have Blaze Glory, Sun Gohan, when this card attacks or combos with this card, if your lead card is red, plays up top 3 cards of your deck and, and put them in the drop area. Um, I actually just decided I don't like these cards, they're not good at all, if you want to play like a Fu deck that's kind of okay, but like I feel like you get enough momentum at the end of the day to get Fu off. I'm just going to rate all these cards one star. Next we have Extra Strike Super Saiyan Sun Goten. Um, it's not searchable with all the old Goten cards, but that's still okay. There's a, I think there's a few cards that you can search Goten with. Um, it's a dual attack, 20k. Um, if you have four or less cards in hand, this card gains 5k power and can attack battle cards that are in active mode. So if you remember, there was another um, Gotenks. Um, that was a 4 drop, it's pretty much just a 15k, this thing just overrides it. Did that card see play? No. Is this card going to see play? Maybe. Um, it's a 25k double strike, or well, dual attack, so it can pipe one thing down and then can keep, like potentially swing face or just not swing at all. <clears throat> Is this going to be beneficial for the meta? Kind of. It's going to swing down cables and everything. 
Um, so in my opinion, it's not that bad. And it's a two red evolve for Sun Goten as well. Um, which, Sun Goten GT. I'll actually rate this four star. I think I'll be playing this in a few of the builds. I've been, like, writing up a few builds, and I've ran this at three. So, yeah. And is it better than Jiren? Nah, not better than Jiren. Charging up a Sun Goten. Um, so, this is the two drop you can play it off. When you play this card, choose up to one of your cards in your hand. Place in the drop area. If you do so, choose up to one of your energy and switch to active mode. So, it's a two drop that you can play for one. For the 15, that's pretty strong. Um, I know you have to drop a card, but with the synergy of the other red cards, um, like Miraculous Comeback Gohan, this kind of just pushes it through the roof. It's pretty strong. Um, I'll rate this card 4 star just like I rated this one because these two together will be pretty strong. Next up, we have Power of Friendship Pan. When you play this, look at the top 5 uh, cards at the top of your deck. Choose up to 1 battle card, 1500 or less power. Uh, 15,000 or less power and GT in its character name and play it and then shuffle your deck. So you could play this for 5, then play this. Uh, is it strong? No, it's not strong at all. It's a 5 drop. Um, I won't be playing this. I don't think anyone will be playing this. I'm going to rate it a 1 star. It doesn't like it doesn't push your game at all. If it was just 1,500, uh, yeah, 15,000, it might see play. But the thing is, it's just a 5 drop. It's just a worse bubbly. So yeah, 1 star. Digging Deep Vegeta. It's a 3 drop with 1 red. Um, when this card attacks, you may choose up to a two of your life and add it to your hand. And if you, and if you choose to add one or more cards to your hand, switch this card to active mode, it gains 5k power for the duration of the turn. Um, I like it. Is it strong? Yes. Is the, um, what, what was the other one? Um, is it a Namekian that came out? That one's just stronger. That's one is like on play and you can activate main it. Um, I like this because it is a Vegeta GT. It, you will be playing it in, um, what's it called? The baby deck. Um, it will help them awaken. It will help every other deck awaken too because it's, it's non-specific. Um, I'll rate this card a four star because I think that other one, the other green one where you have to be Namekian is better. But um, it's just a really good awakening option. So yeah, four star. Daily training Vegeta. When you play this, draw one card. The fact that it says Vegeta GT just really... I really hate um, all the other Vegeta GTs other than this one. Just kind of all bad. The primary one's good. Uh, we may get like a good Vegeta GT SR, which I'm hoping, which is going to be an Evolve. I'm hoping for. Where it like might gain an ability or something from the other ones. But yeah, um, it the Bundle of Curiosity Goku saw play, so this will see play. Um, Goku could be evolved. This thing can't currently. Um, so I'll rate it a three star. Um, and that's about it for this. Next is intensifying power trunks. So um, I think it's unfair. Not unfair. I think it's stupid design that they brought out this card and the Gohan as well. So if you don't know this, when this card attacks, you can choose up to one of your life and add it to your hand. If you do so, this card gains 10k power for... Uh, 10k power and critical for the duration of the turn. Like, this just pushes red, blue Vegeta through the roof. Like, you'll be playing this at 4 in every single red deck. I might call it now and say that it might be a red format. It feels like yellow got a format, blue got a format, green got a format, and I feel like it's going to be a red format for a while. <laughs> this thing and Carbo are just going to push games through the roof. So, um, straight off the bat, 5 star. Uh, this thing probably shouldn't have been printed, but we have it here. Um, just because there was a green one, I understand, like, you know, diversity, but it sh <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. Dependable Mum Bulma. Switch uh, this card to rest mode. It's a one drop. Draw one card, then choose up to one of your battle cards. Gains 5k power for the duration of the turn. Um, it's all right. I think there was, like, a Chi-Chi in like the other reveals where it was a two drop um while this one kind of taps itself it's like a draw one and then gains gains 5k power it's kind of strong so it's like boo that um like an aggressive boo so like you could like play this and then play this on top of it i kind of like it is it going to see a lot of play maybe i don't know it's our first good red drop draw um i'll give it a four star sane daughter bulma 
Um, when you play this card, look at the top seven cards at the uh, top of your deck. Choose up to one red battle card with Vegeta GT, Trunks GT, or Bulma GT, and then add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. It's all right. Um, like, if this was 4K power, I could actually see it seeing a lot of... Uh, I mean, 5K power, I could actually see this getting a lot of play. The reason why I'm saying that it's a bit stupid, but... Um, this format, there's going to be a lot of 5Ks that can be swinging. So you could, like, play this and then pop something. Like, like swing it and hit something. Just because it doesn't have that 1K power, kind of, like, devalues it a little bit. But not by too much. Like, you can just, guess, swing with the leader into it. But, yeah, um, it's a pretty good card. 5-star. All these kind of, like, top 7 cards should just be 5-star. Mr. Boo. Now, when I first read this, when I was on, in my car on my way home... I was like, holy shit, is this a one-drop red boo so you could evolve it? It isn't. The thing is, it's a Mr. Boo. It needs to be a Martian boo. Just Martian boo. I know the special trait's Martian. Yeah, I know. Um, one star. Zero star, actually. I. <sighs> they missed an opportunity here. Sane Strength Baby. So it's a baby and Vegeta GT. Has double strike when you play this card. If your leader is a red machine mutant, draw one card, and then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and loses 2k power for the duration of the turn. Uh, it's kind of good. It's a 5k. Um, like, it's just a 4k pop with double strike at the end of the day. Um, and you have to be a machine mutant. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um... 2k power, so it's going to be popping chaos, it's going to be popping, like, other things, it's, like, if this was when you swing, that would be so much better, because you could, like, save it and then swing, I don't know, um, I'll give it a 3 star, it might have potential to be a 4 star in, like, baby decks and all that, but I just feel like there's so many better cards currently. Next we have the one drop baby, uh, revenge, uh, vengeance unleashed. Um, this card's a really weird card. Choose up to one of your battle cards and place this card under it. If your leader card is red, Machine Mutant, choose up to one baby with an energy cost 4 or less with the same character name as the card you placed under this card from your deck and play this on top of it. Play it on top of it, then shuffle your deck. So, you pl like, let's say you play Vegeta GT, the 2-drop, the then you can uh, put this under it and then play this. So, it's alright. I don't know. It's pretty good. Like, turn two, bringing out a, a four drop with uh, that can pop something on the field. And then the other one draws as well. It's actually not a bad archetype, if you ask me. Um, I'm going to rate this card a five star. It doesn't cost to actually put it under. Yeah, five stars for Baby Vengeance Unleashed. Vo, uh, Vow Revenge. Um, it's a zero drop. I really like all these zero drops. They're amazing for the game. It's like free spell. Um, if your leader card is red, Machine Mutant, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and uh, it loses five, uh, 15k for the duration of the turn. So that means if it's 1500, uh, 15k, you can play this and just pop it. Very strong card. Um, will every deck play it? Like every Machine Mutant deck play it? Probably not. Um, I like the card, so I'll rate it 5 star. Maybe not 5 star, 4 star. Revenge Death Ball. Um, this is like the uh, one of the cards you can use for um, like piping down your opponent. If your leader card is red, baby, it gains 10k power for the duration of the turn. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 1500 power from the. Uh, it, it loses 1500, 15,000 power for the duration of the turn. Um, so oh, it's a one drop pop something. That's kind of strong in today's meta. In today's meta, but maybe not in the future meta. Um, it's a four-star. I really like all these cards that are specific leader. So, yeah, I'll leave it a four-star. Then we have uh, Vengeful Onslaught. If your leader card is a Machine Mutant, choose up to one battle card with 1,500 or less and switch it to active mode. Gains 5k power for the duration of turn. Um, this is really strong. Being able to, like, restand your... Um, like your your carvers or restanding your trunks and being able to like swing all these down um like swing with it again it gains 5k power it's so strong um five star i like it was about time we got a card like this that like restands things it's really strong 
five star. All right, and that's it for the red cards. Um, I hope you like all these red cards. I really do. I feel like this, all these new cards are gonna like kind of push red through the roof. Maybe not through the roof, but def it's definitely a lot of support that we really did need. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.